Hello and welcome to this short video about deploying Oracle Key Vault in your OCI tenancy in under 10 minutes. Hi, my name is Peter Wall. I'm the Principal Product Manager for Encryption Key and Secrets Management in the Oracle Database Security Team. Before we go into OCI, let's take a quick look at the standard on-prem deployment of Oracle Key Vault. Here you can see that read-write pairs, those with the big um, red arrow, are installed in parallel to your data guard setup, potentially bridging on-prem data centers. If you have only one read-write pair, that gives you continuous read availability for your keys. So even if you take one node down, let's say for, a, uh, for an upgrade, the other node becomes a read-only node and serves encryption keys to your databases. If you have a four node cluster, you get continuous read write availability. If you take one node down for an upgrade, the peer will become a read only node, but the other pair will remain a read write pair and can be used to onboard new databases, do rekey operations in your existing databases. Now, if we extend this into OCI, not much changes, except that we have two OKVs running in your OCI tenancy with your databases on-prem and in OCI. For example, that could be an XRCC system on-premise and an XRCS in OCI. What we will be doing today is we will deploy an OKV from the cloud marketplace into your OCI tenancy. So how do you find keyboard in the cloud marketplace? Well, the first possibility is you go and follow this uh, vanity URL or you scan the QR code and then log into your OCI account. Or if you are already in your OCI tenancy, you click on the hamburger icon on the left and uh, select marketplace, select all applications, type keyword in the search box and then click on the Oracle keyword icon. In both cases, you will end up on this screen, and this is where our demo begins. Okay, so here I'm in my tenancy. I selected OKB21.4, which is currently the most recent version. I check the proper compartment, and then I can click on Launch Instance. So let's give this a proper name. Let's pick OKB01B OK so that it matches the PowerPoint that we just saw. Um, it goes into the availability T domain uh, number one. This is my keyboard image. This is the standard, the smallest VM shape that we can put OKV OK in that has been selected by default. We stay in our VCN, we stay in our subnet, and here I have to give my instance a public IP address. If you are in a production environment where you have an OCI account, you most likely have either a VPN connection into your OCI tenancy or you have fast connect between your on-premise data centers and OCI. If this is the case, then you would access OKV only through the private IP address. I do not have VPN connections or fast connect into OCI, so I need to give my OKV a public IP address. But this is only for the setup and the post installation steps. Everything afterwards can only be done using the uh, private IP addresses. So after this, I need to upload my public key, which allows me to use public key authentication into the OKB instance. So here I pick my public key, put this into OCI and then I click on create and we will see that OCI starts to provision this OKV instance. After a short minute we get our IP addresses and then we wait for roughly eight to nine minutes until the OKV is ready. So after roughly eight or nine minutes, our instance is ready to be configured and I can connect to the OPC user with the public IP address. So yes, we would like to connect. And the only thing that the OPC user can do 
we can execute this command set root password and let's do this after we set the root password the opc user is deleted and ssh into okv is turned off now the only way to get into okv is using the public ip address in your web browser So after giving the root password, I get to the screen with the post installation steps and that is the same what you would go through in your on-premise deployments. So I won't get into any further detail. I would like to point out a couple Oracle Keyboard resources. At first, of course, the documentation. Um, the Oracle Keyboard <coughs> uh, Life Lab allows you to experience for yourself the many different use cases that OKV can help you with. And we just deployed a keyboard from the OCI marketplace into your OCI tenancy. Here again is the link. Um, we have a keyboard homepage on oracle.com. And last but not least, if you would like to see more videos about transparent data encryption or Oracle Keyboard, just visit us on the Oracle Database Product Management YouTube channel and search for my name or for Oracle Keyboard or TDE. I hope that short video was helpful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Thank you and goodbye.